that we'll talk about. First, we'll talk about multiplying matrix with a scalar. So first, let's talk about taking a matrix A and then multiplying it by some scalar. Let's call it lambda. The way this works is uh, every entity in the matrix A just gets scaled by the value lambda. So the result is another matrix C, which is of the same size as A. So again, M by N, M by N. Okay. So, for example, just a real quick example, let's go back and take A again. Well, what was A? 3, 0, minus 1, 2, 4, 8. Let's use that as A. We'll set lambda equal to 2, so I don't have to do too much math in my head. And then the result, A times lambda is going to be 3, 0, minus 1, 2, 4, 8 times 2. It's going to result in the matrix C, which is going to be the same size, a 2 by 3. And we just multiply each entity by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 0 times 2 is 0. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2 is 16. Okay? The second form of multiplication, which is what I want to talk about now, is a little more, uh, well, it's not complicated, but it's, it's, it's typically what we do. And this is, uh, um, matrix, matrix multiplication. Okay, so where we have two matrices, A and B, and we want to look at the multi uh, multiplying them together. Now, in this situation, you don't go element by element, okay? The way we do matrix-matrix multiplication is, um, if we want to do A times B, and A is an M by N matrix. So the rule is the number of columns in the first matrix has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So B needs to be an N by, let's call it P for now, okay? So it's absolutely essential that These are equal. Okay? So the number of columns of the first matrix has to equal the number of rows of the second matrix. When you multiply those together, you'll get a third matrix, C, and its dimension will be M by P. So you can see the N's kind of negate each other out. And that's the way we, you know, that's because of the way we do the multiplication. So for those who remember, um, how this works, um, well, how should I do it? Let, let, me, let me first write the rule out. So, Cij, the ij value of C, is equal to the sum k equal 1 to n, where n is this number of columns in A or the number of rows in B, of A I K times B K J. Okay? So if you look at this, this involves a sum. So what this does graphically Right? So let's just do a quick example like this. So if use our same A and 
B. A is, well, I gotta use a different B. Zero, minus one, two, four, eight. Okay, so now B has to have three um, rows because A has three columns. So let's pick a B that's of the right dimension. So let's just have three. Let's make it a three by two. Okay, so now these are the compatible dimensions. So this is a two by three, three by two. Okay, so this is going to end up with a matrix that's going to be a two by two. All right, right. It's going to be an M by P, and in this case, M is two and P is two. Now they don't have to be the same numbers. Obviously, this could be a two by six, in which case you'd have a I'm sorry, this could be a 3 by 6. If B were a 3 by 6, then you'd end up with a 2 by 6. I'm not going to do 2 by 6 because it's just going to take too long to do. 